Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Uh, ladies, I don't know. Do girls watch my channel? I'm not too sure. I think they might be all fake accounts. But welcome nonetheless to a brand new challenge. You've seen Drive Till the Tires Explode. You have seen Dry Tires, Wet Track, Wet Track, Wet Tires, Dry Track, whatever the case may be. That's my, that's my alarm to wake up. That's great. You've seen all the challenges on my channel, but this one, I think, tops the lot. This is driving all five tire compounds in one race against 0% AI. Thank you to whoever it was who mentioned it in my last challenge video to do this. I'll put your thing up on screen. Thank you very much for the suggestion. We're going to jump in the Red Bull as Daniel Ricciardo for one last time, and probably not the last time that I'll jump in his car anyway. But we're going to go off to the British Grand Prix, a track that I know very well, uh, given that I just did a week of practice here. So there should be absolutely no excuses. Here is the settings, 0% AI all the way down to the bottom. If I had to put a number on it, I'd, I'd say they're like, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds lap slower. We're going to do a five lap race. We're going to really stretch ourselves. I think 25% is too much to be honest. I think that'll be too easy. So we're going to limit ourselves to only five laps. The AI don't have to make a pit stop. We have to make four pit stops in this race. Using all tire compounds. Strict corner cutting rules, so there's going to be no cheating from me. Everything else is as you would expect. We're going to go clear, because we want it to be dry. And let's go official, why not? Okay, let's get into this. Let me know where you think I'll finish. I think it's either going to be like first or last. I think that's... that's it's got to be one of those two. We're not going to finish anywhere in the middle. That's just not going to happen. It's time once again then for qualifying here at Silverstone on what we're hoping will be a tight contest for pole position. So here's the results of qualifying. They're, the times are actually so slow that it's thrown me off like what an actual lap time around Silverstone is. I think we were in the 25s in league racing. So about 15 seconds a lap slower. I think that'll make this challenge really, really close uh, given all the crap, all the hoops that we're going to have to jump through in this race. Guys, smash a like button, subscribe. This is about to be something. Hello and welcome to the British Grand Prix here at Silverstone. The grandstands are packed, the cars have made their way to the grid, and we're minutes away from lights out. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. It is race time for the British Grand Prix. Man, I am not sure what to expect for this race. This is going to be five laps of pure madness. Using my league racing setup, it's uh, pretty aggressive. I don't know how this is going to handle on the wets and also the intermediate tires. I am going to have to be driving ridiculously conservatively in order to just stay on the track, to be honest. Um, can I change? Oh, I can't change my race strategy. So I'm starting on the softs. Which is a shame because I would have actually have chosen to start on the hards. The tire that I'm least looking forward to driving today. The hard tire, no matter what F1 game it is, is the worst tire to be driving on. I Honestly, I'm more looking forward to driving on intermediates on a dry track, to be honest with you, than using the hards. Poor old Greek master the other day. Had to do the whole race on them. But anyway, it's time for this race. Get ready. You're going to see some fireworks. Here we go. Five red lights, 0% AI, away we go. I need to clear these guys ASAP. I would not be surprised if we're first by the end of this lap, or the end of this sector, shall I say. AI are easy enough to overtake at the best of times. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, you need to get that position back. That was an illegal overtake. I knew I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, there's, you know, casual five men, quad feed into that corner. If, if only there was like a, a kill feed, uh, an overtake feed. Damn it, Marduk overtakes Ericsson, Leclerc, a million other cars in one go. The, the leaderboard will be going crazy. It's P10 already. I don't even feel like I've done anything. Here we go. We can just go clean around the outside of all these guys. You know, I chose the Red Bull because I thought overtaking would be a little bit harder. These guys should be fast in a straight line. Like, 
zero percent AI. The way that Codemasters know if they're AI is just, oh my goodness, toxicity between the Red Bull teammates. I think I've stuffed up on the basis that I've chosen Silverstone, the the longest pit lane, the longest transit time on the entire F1 grid. It's not going to work, is it? Surely. It's like the wheels are now turning in my head, realizing that I've stuffed this one up big time. Welcome back to attempt number two of the five tire compound challenge. You know, I think sometimes in life, we need to own up and accept our mistakes in life sometimes. And um, today I just feel like Codemasters, you need to accept that you've made the 0% AI too, too difficult, it seems. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, that, was, that was probably the worst miscalculation I have made of my life. I've made some absolute howlers, some amazing decisions sometimes. F1 2013 Malaysia career mode was one of them. This one, not so much. We're gonna see, we're gonna stick with Silverstone. I, I, I like the challenge of having the longest pit lane transit time on the F1 calendar to really deter us from winning this race. But I feel like now that we've upped the, the race dis distance by like 10 laps, or no, eight laps. <laughs> Again, getting my math wrong. Good thing I never turned out to be an accountant anyway. We should be fine to uh, have a clear battle in this one. We're going to start on the hard compound tyres, uh, getting the worst tyre out of the way, straight up. Yes, I said the hards, because they are literally worse. I dislike them more than the wet compound tyres, so uh, we'll get those out of the way ASAP. Why is my tyres not switched from hards? I can see the softs are still there, Codemasters. You can't pull the wool, the wool over my eyes. I'm not dumb. I'm not that dumb. Hopefully. Honestly, what's going on here? Hards. Softs. Hards. Softs. I'm going to press start now. And you're going to give me hards. You're going to give me a hard. Or I'm going to be angry. Hey, they did it. Okay, they figured it out. Thank you, F1 geniuses. Five red lights, 0% AI. You know the deal by now. Away we go. They just look at how bad they are. I really should have started on the wets. But that's not allowed, apparently. You can switch on to them in dry conditions, but you can't start the race on them. Like all script. Down the inside. This time, we won't... Okay, we won't get an illegal overtake, but we will get taken out. We'll take ourselves out which is probably just as bad. And now we can get on with our race. Literally, 0% AI Honda power unit was uh, just as fast as us there. I think that is pretty darn embarrassing. P14 at the moment. It's a stark contrast to when we started on the softs. This is just how bad these hard compound tires are. I mean, who, who thought it was a good idea to label the hard compound tires in blue for a dry, dry compound. It just makes no sense. It literally looks like a wet tire compound. And feels like it too. You're probably wondering why I'm not like commentating or getting excited about these overtakes. These guys are literally just mobile chicanes. Please don't speed this time. If we actually speed in a 25% race, that's a drive through. I definitely didn't do a flashback to figure that out. Definitely not. <laughs> but here we go, into the pits. You'll literally see me put the same tyre compound on. Hey ho, away we go. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Oh, this is much better. I can just feel the grip instantly. So much better. I can just place the car exactly where I want to. Definitely no blisters forming already. Definitely... It's definitely not the tyre's fault, I'm just really bad, you guys know that. Look at this, just kissing the apex very beautifully. Nice little bit of wheel spin on exit. I definitely can take the extra time to hit those apexes beautifully due to the tyre being 20 seconds a lap slower. Doesn't matter. Alright, tyre temps, what are we What are we saying? 107 degrees, easy, no problem. The track is looking pretty dry now. You should pit in and fit the dry compound. Nah, uh, I think I think there's just a few spots of rain. 
So we just made a slight miscalculation with uh, this current tire compound. I think we'll switch onto the intermediates and get a bit more of a benefit, I reckon. So that's that out of the way. Onto the intermediate tires. There's literally not much to say when you're on a tire like that, let's be honest. You're just holding onto the wheel for dear life and just praying that you don't screw it up. The gap is 20 seconds. And it's about to be about 40. Probably close to a minute down by the time we come into the pits and put dries on. But then we'll have 10 laps. About 10 seconds a lap faster to do it. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're close. But we're going to have to get our sweat on to uh, make up the difference. We may actually make the track damp again. With how seriously we're going to have to drive the remainder of this race to make up the difference. This tire actually doesn't feel too bad, to be honest. I can push somewhat decently. Let's go through here. In previous like, F1 games, it was nigh on impossible to, to do these uh, challenges. Like, wet tires, dry track, you'd actually be sliding around all over the place. Now it's just kind of like a, a dulled down experience of driving on dries. Which, I mean, is kind of realistic. You see the drivers drive in these oh oh no uh let's forget for, forget that soliloquy for now let's go on to the mediums I forgot what i was saying something along the lines of uh you can actually drive uh into on a dry track you just wear out the tires ridiculously quick which is what i felt was happening on to the mediums the gap is the best part of a minute now um next pit stop will be coming dangerously close to being lapped but I want to avoid that happening. So I think we'll do a few laps here on the mediums. Try and make up as much difference as I can. And make sure that when I pit for one final time. So when I pit for the next time, I'll, I'll make sure that I emerge in clear air. And we can just make up the difference on the softs. The fastest compound. It's a 25% race. So we should just about be able to do about 10 laps. And it should be fine. But now it's up to us to dig us out of this hole. One minute. Four seconds away from Lance Stroll. Let's get it across the line. Is this purple? Across the whole field? No, it's not. We're going to do one fast lap here just to see what the actual pace is versus the AI. Virtual safety car has been deployed. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. That's not good. That's not good for me at all. Because look at all the AI. They're coming in for their stop now. I, I'm sitting here... Like an absolute moron not making up any time. My This challenge depends on me making up time in green flag running. We're all limited to the same pace, which is a massive free kick in the AI's favor. Wow. Wow. As if the odds were not stacked against me enough in this race, they've all got a free pit stop at the longest transit time. The longest transit time for a pit stop on the F1 grid. I cannot I cannot emphasize that enough, how much of an advantage they have just got there. Uh, yellow flag still up ahead. We've overtaken Ocon and Van Dorn, and because we've just gone under safety car temporarily, I'm going to go into the softs because I'm not going to get my fast lap in anyway. Into the pits we go. Soft compound tires. We should be able to make this last to the end. Let's do this. Look at the gaps that have now formed for the AI. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there with everyone. There's just like, you look at Vettel, he's going on the back straight. And then others are just like going through cops and... What has happened? I need to bring that up on replay. Again. Uh, Max is in the pits. Max in the pits. Do they get done for speeding under safety car? Speeding under virtual safety car? Does, is everyone else coming in? Okay, so Rosso is in. A Sauber is in. The next Ferrari. That Ferrari that is going through now definitely has made a stop. I don't know. I'm so confused. I just want to watch the guys at the back there. See what they do. I don't know. A lot of people have come into the pits again. I, I swear, like, most of the field came in under VSC. And it is a case sometimes where 
They can get done for speeding under virtual safety car, which has ruined a couple of career mode episodes before, for sure. Let's check the race director, to be honest. Nothing. Okay, gap ahead is 35.6 seconds. This has been a really sweaty lap. Like, literally league racing style. Hot lap this has been. We've made up the best part of 10 seconds already on this lap. We're going to cross the line and absolutely destroy the fastest lap so far. Across the line, 28-9. Thank you very much. And a Red Bull, that's not bad. And here we go, coming up to our first victims. As if they weren't slow enough already on 110% AI, but 0% AI with the Williams. It's just unfair how slow they are. They're literally just like road cars taken from Forza or something and thrown onto a racetrack saying, here you go, do your best. If you finish, that's great. If you beat anyone else, then amazing. It's P16, We're already catching up to Ericsson. This is really awkward. I don't know what, he's gonna, what kind of line he's going to take into here. That's so slow. Ah, especially into a one-line corner like that. That is so damn awkward. P13, Gasly is up next. We'll probably get... Oh! Dude! Final corner. Alonso, out the way. Magnussen, you can get out the way too, please. I'm just going to go to the inside. Uh, so awkward. Big old dive bomb. I'm not going to use the Y word. But we're all thinking it. See you later. Race leaders here. Here we go, Verstappen. See you later. Raikkonen. It's not going to be a see you later until we get to an actual corner. This is where the difficulties lie in the overtakes. Oh my god. Talk about overtake. AOR, second last lap, overtaking Master Berserk to steal the Grand Prix from the clutches of defeat. That's got nothing on that double overtake. Thank you very much. Hamilton, I'm about to make. Some British fans very, very upset. Again, dive bomb from the heavens. It's P2. <laughs> I was a little bit worried that that wasn't going to work, but my goodness, did that work beautifully. This is just unfair. I'm really sorry, Sebastian. You've driven a brilliant race up until this point, but, you know, I think I'll take it from here, Chief. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. I timed that perfectly, by the way. Overtake onto the last lap, getting DRS. Saved up all my battery, I saved up a little bit of fuel so we can absolutely gun for that fastest lap once again. Let's see what we can do. I'll tell you what, that was commitment through there. Really nice lines. Up and overtake, please be purple. We're literally level, level with our previous bests. I think we should be able to drag an extra couple of tents through this final sector. We're going maximum attack now with our fuel and DRS, something of which we weren't exactly doing on our last fastest lap attempt. That's not a great run through there, but we're going to come across the line and win this race. Do we get the fastest lap though? That's what I care about more. Yes, we do. Thank you. It was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for Red Bull today. Tell me, Abs, what was the key to this success? Well, Crofty, this was won through an abundance of speed and an abundance of skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath, we saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race, surely, that will satisfy the purists today, I think. Yeah, one that will surely appease the hardcore fans of Formula One. A four-stop strategy to win the Grand Prix from last on the grid. Ladies and gentlemen, when do you ever see that? Thank you guys so much for watching. That has been the five compound challenge. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more F1 gaming content. I'm not going to lie, that was pretty insane. We just about managed to pull that off um, heading on to the last lap. I think if we pick a track that is maybe uh, maybe a bit longer in length, has a shorter pit lane, I'm thinking like Spa, I think we could probably pull this off in five laps if we get a really good run. So if you guys want to see that in the future, let me know. 
Um, and again, if there's any other challenges you guys want to see from me, put them down in the comments and um, I'll give them a go, just like this video, suggested by you guys. Hopefully, I have delivered the goods. That's it for me today. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.